this is June of 1976, a long time ago. I was raised on a small farm. We were so poor that we did not have indoor bathroom facilities. My dad, he worked very hard, and in a few years, he took $5,000 and he went across the dirt road near the hog pen and he built us a home. And guess what? That home had a bathroom. I took my first shower. <laughs> When I was 10 years old, that was a great day. He said the next five years will determine the destiny for the rest of your life. He said, remember this, universal principle, never forget it. And I'm going to tell you today exactly what he told me. He said, you have freedom of choice. You can choose but you do not have control over the consequences. I thought that my grades would go away. 30 years later, 30 years later, the, the folks at the register office want to see my high school transcripts. I said, no. Like you, I was warned by my teachers. They told me, Randy, in high school, your grades will follow you forever. Do you believe that? I didn't. Guess what I was interested in in high school? Girl. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, yeah. But it, it wasn't my GPA. What's that, grade point average? I was interested GTWP. Girls to party with. <laughs> I was focused on the GTPW score, and as that score increased, by the way, <laughs> I started to develop some very bad habits. And I, as I was driving down my driveway, temporary blocked out, and the next thing I remember, I, can't, I woke up all of a sudden, and my car was hitting towards my living room window. I, I took the car and I jerked it to the steering wheel to the left and my car spun around sideways. I made so much noise that not only did it wake me up, unfortunately it woke up my mama and my daddy. I walked into my house and sure enough, there was my mom and dad waiting for me. Students, all I could do was look at them and throw up on the floor. The next morning, my dad got me up about six o'clock that morning. I got in about three o'clock that morning. He got me up six. Had me, he put into my hand a shovel and a rake. I was outside leveling the yard where I tore up the night before. As you see, I made some very, very poor decisions. I did not learn my lesson. A cop pulled me over. Do you love your wife? That's what he asked me. I said, of course I love my wife. Then why are you trying to kill her? It's all about personal accountability. My wife turned 16 on a Friday. That Monday morning, she was driving a school bus. When we got married, we moved on the end of her bus route. We literally moved in a mobile home on the end of her bus route. Our mortgage payment was $70 a month. 70. Not 700, 70. Our groceries were $28 a week. And that included the, the sandwiches, the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches she packed for me for lunch. My senior year, I made some wise and some unwise choices, as you can tell from my story. We almost ran away from home on an adventure.
And we make two columns, advantages and disadvantages of running away from home. We have a thousand dollars worth of cash to survive on. No parents or teachers telling us what to do. We went on the right side of the paper. Start thinking about the disadvantages of running away from home. Here you go. Who was going to hire two high school dropouts? Oh, I love this one. You parents back there can relate to this. Would my parents pay for my car insurance while we were on our adventure? It's not going to happen. We made a choice to stay in school. Now, as a consequence of that one choice, here's what happened. A few months later, I met that young lady right there. If I ran away, I would never met her. We got married. As a result of that choice, not to drop out of high school, I was there and I had the opportunity to be with all three of my children their first day when they went to kindergarten. I was there at all their school events. I was there to coach them in t-ball, softball, baseball, and basketball. I never missed one of their birthday parties. I was there. I was there. I was outside at this stadium when all three of my kids graduated from high school. I was there when my youngest daughter graduated from college. I was there to walk my two daughters down the aisle when they got married. I was in the delivery room with my oldest daughter when she gave birth to my two grandchildren. And I am enjoying watching them grow up right now. Life is a series of choices and consequences. I'm a simple guy, students. I'm real simple. When you get ready, and many of you are now, you're making major, you officially make major decisions in your life. Get your paper and pencil out, and you write down the advantages and disadvantages, and weigh them out, and make sure you choose wisely, very wisely. Thank you very much.